morning. I thought while I was doing my medications for the week, <coughs> I could tell you guys about the Five Feet Apart movie that I saw on Sunday. Um, first off, as you know, obviously, I have cystic fibrosis. And with that comes a bunch of other side things, you know, like my diabetes and you get some really nice like rheumatoid arthritis, but it's not really rheumatoid arthritis. It's more or less um, CF related arthritis because just like my diabetes is CF related diabetes, not type 1, not type 2. No matter what, I'll always have it because my pancreas sucks. So yeah, fun times. Um, I take a whole crap load of pills on a daily and weekly basis. Um, the pill box I am doing currently is just for the week. These are just my morning pills. Nothing too crazy. I mean, to me it's nothing crazy. I'll show you. So this is um, this is my dining room. But there's my morning pills. That's for today. I got to do I'm just waiting for food to kick in a little bit. And then I have... Um, my diabetes stuff, some stuff over here. I have my Vigo, which is a lifesaver because I don't like pricking myself more than I have to. I also just started taking these, 400 milligrams of the um, CBD Relief Toads, the toad gummies, not real toads, no toads were harmed. Um, I got those from my amazing chiropractor, Dr. Liz. And um, so far since being on those, I've been sleeping a little bit better. I feel like my mood's a little bit better. But um, I'm looking for the benefits on that because that'll be exciting. I do hypertonic saline. That's a nebulizer. My palmazine. That's a nebulizer. And I do this wonderful thing called a pod haler. morning and night. It used to be in Kaysen. Um, I wasn't the greatest with doing it three times a day and it doesn't really work if you don't do it three times a day. So I'm off of that now. Um, got my Libre in my arm. See how bad my sugars are. It's going up because I just ate some cereal. So not horrible, but going up there. So movie, five feet apart review. I bawled. My mask that I wore was soaked with tears. Um, having CF is hard enough. I mean, sure, medications, and up at night you're <coughs> coughing. And it's just, it's a very lonely disease sometimes, and no one really seems to understand it. And that movie, they showed that. And it's very hard to show others and tell others exactly how we feel as CF patients, at least for me. This is my opinion. I mean, don't hold me to a type of ordeal. But um, in the movie, they show how we are isolated a little bit and how serious being together can be. Um, I can be a little bit of a rebel in that department. I don't carry the one fungus or bacteria, however you want to word it, that... Cole Sprouse has in the movie. Um, it's called Bisapatia. And I don't have that one. The only thing I have growing in my lungs right now, um, I call him my fun guy. I'm just corny like that. Is um, Pseudomonas. And I've had Pseudomonas since I think I was like 12 years old in my lungs. And since then I've been taking, you know, azithromycin, you know, the drug that you guys all take when you get a cold and sinus infection. Three times a week. Um, <coughs> that movie, it, it hit you where it hurts because you, you live in this disease and no one seems to understand it sometimes. And when you lose someone to the same disease you have, it is so hard. Um, you gain this survivor's guilt and you, you don't. You don't know how you're still alive when you see other CFers doing medications way better than you are and 
you're, they're doing their treatments like crazy and they're wonderful and they abide by every rule. They get listed <coughs> and they still pass away with the same exact disease that you have or that I have. And it, it hits you and it hurts. And it's a real, real mind, you know, choose word of choice here. But um, I loved it. I thought they did a great job with representing the CF world. Um, sure, they're, they're not the smartest. Um, breaking the six foot rule. But you know what? It's so, it is so true that we give so much to <coughs> CF on a daily basis for us. We give up going out with friends because we're too tired or we're sick. We give up relationships because some people are really, really hard with understanding what it's like to date somebody or marry somebody with CF. Sometimes we get very lucky, my myself included. I love that Michael is supportive with me and CF. And I love that we're open about it and joke about it because I really think um, having a sense of humor is key. Um, but it showed them coughing up mucus. And I can tell you, that's me every single morning. So I heard a couple people in the theater go, Ew! Yep, that, that's nothing. That's us. <coughs> it's the upset stomachs. It's canceling plans when you really want to go out and you can't. It, it's hard. And that movie just showed so many people what CF is really like and how Hollywood is going to help hopefully raise awareness for this disease because you know what it has I've read somewhere online I can't remember where that it's had CF since the movie was out CF on Google or whatever you want to call it um has been researched by going up by just Average kids and everything, 113%. That means 113% of people since a movie came out that people are wondering, what is CF? And what, like, really? People walk around with this all day? Um, that's, that's huge. That's huge. And then in May, we have our CF walk. Like, I don't know what I would do if there's a cure in my life. Like, this would be amazing. And... To just know that finally there is a movie out there that people want to see that, sure, it can be a little glamorized and stuff like that, but it's a movie. And they show some stuff. They show your porch. They show your scars. They show you how the nurses can be. Um, I've never been in. <coughs> I only had one overnight stay in the hospital, knock on wood, that um, I, I don't, I've never had tune-ups or anything like that. My lungs aren't the, the worst part of me. It's most of my digestive tract. But, oh my gosh, there's there's people out there wondering what this disease is and never even hearing it. And now, now they're researching it. Now they're going to hopefully take a step and a stand and say, hey, let's do something about this if there's people actually living with this disease. it That's really, to me, what it was all about. And if you want a better understanding of what it's like to live with CF and... Some of the anger that we have with it, because, I mean, I know I'm an angry elf sometimes, and I'm um, married a lot of times, but there's a lot of stuff that happens behind closed doors that people just don't understand. And that movie, to me, did a great, great job on showing the emotions and the, pot, the life with CF. I mean, sure, everyone's travel with CF is a little bit different. Um, I know some CFers that can't work. I know some, like myself, who work too much. And I know others that travel the world and are amazing human beings that are making a difference in the CF community every single day. Like, I just... I am just happy that that movie was out there. And... I think that unless you live with CF, you really don't understand what it's like, maybe. 
But if you go see this movie, hopefully it'll open your eyes a little bit more. And if you need a buddy to go see the movie with, I'll go with you. Just buy me popcorn. I'm very food motivated. Well, thank you for my somewhat review and talking. Um, my pills are done. All done. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have a good day.